This is Evil J from Motep, and you're watching R and R TV. All right, thanks guys for uh, for joining with us. I'm Aaron from R and R TV, and we're sitting here with J from Motep. Yes, Evil J from Motep. <laughs> Believe me, a lot of people have a hard time calling me Evil J after they get to know me, so it's all right. And like we were just talking, I just want to in, uh, kind of reiterate, why do you have that name, Evil J, and how'd you come up with it? Um, I was actually dubbed Evil J um, after the first show I ever played with OTEP. Uh, apparently, some of the pictures that came back, I looked pretty evil. So that name just kind of got attached, and ever since then, I've had to, to carry on that persona. So it's been a wonderful oxymoron. And uh, how did you guys, uh, when you guys started in L.A., right? How did, how did you guys come together and, and start your, your career as a band and, and get yourself known? Uh, it was kind of a unique situation to begin with. Um, I moved to Los Angeles, joined a couple bands, um, played around a little bit or whatnot, and uh, did one show with um, kind of like a classic rock style band and was seen by the drummer that actually just recently joined OTEP. And then he asked me if I was uh, interested in joining a metal band or something. And I was like, all right, I'll, I'll give this, check it out. So I got to audition. I got to meet Otep. And, and right off the bat, she and I hit it off really well. And um, from that, it's just been a, a forward motion ever since. So how many uh, venues did you guys play before you actually were you know, noticed and you had met them? Or is it right off the bat? Uh, well, after I joined the band, we were signed six months after. So, um, like, right, after, right as soon as, I mean, by the time I joined this band, this was the 14th band that I've played in. So it's like I kind of had playing in bands under my belt. I also graduated from music school, so I had that behind me as well. I've been playing music for 25 years. Or actually, no, I take that back, 30 years. Wow. But, um, yeah, it, <clears throat> so I've had a long history with playing music, never real professionally, didn't really want to pursue that. It was more of a fun hobby. But, um yeah once we got together we started doing a couple smaller clubs in los angeles and the beauty is is like we already had management by the time i even joined the band it was kind of a, a work in progress with her original idea so there was already kind of a buzz around town about this new band otep even kind of before it was a complete band so when we finally had some songs and some places to play people were coming out and you know and we just managed to actually get signed without even having a demo tape so just for your fans from the spinoff that is that how you would tell them to, to start their careers just to keep playing and to keep motivating keep push, pushing themselves with different bands and different just keep going with whatever it makes whatever it takes yeah, absolutely i mean I, I always try to to tell people to get life experience and 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 to try to really work as hard like I, a lot of a lot of kids have come up to uh, me and I'm sure tons of different people in this industry and just be like, they're, they're 16, they just started playing in a band and they're like, oh man, I want to get famous, I want to be signed. And I'm like, right off the bat, you're already kind of going at it the wrong way. That shouldn't be your strong motivation. You should actually have passion in playing music before you go and try to pursue it. It's like, you know, it's like, I like the money that a doctor makes, but I don't really like blood. So it's not going to work out. So, um, as, as being in school, what school did a uh, musical school did you attend? Uh, I went to Berkeley College of Music in Boston, Massachusetts. Was that straight out of high school, or did you pursue it as a career, uh, as a college education? Or yeah, yeah, it was it was straight out of high, high school. My parents pretty much said you needed to go for um, higher education, you know, and I said, well, I'm not really in the idea of going to be an accountant or anything. I, I don't think I would do well with that. So. I was like, okay, I'm going to music school as a way to kind of get out of, it was almost like a get out of jail free card, but, you know, and that really bothered mom, sorry, but I did okay. Um, yeah, she was like, you can't put all your eggs in one basket, you can't apply to one school. I'm like, but I want to. And so I lucked out though, I got three scholarships to go to the school, I had some performance scholarships and such um, from Berkeley. How is it um, going out and touring and promoting your, your albums and, and promoting what you have worked so hard for? It's 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 fun. I mean, it, touring is definitely awesome and and horrific at the same time. Um, you know, you're 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 stuck in close quarters with a lot of people. You know, which then eventually your your personal privacy and whatnot, you have to kind of give that up. But at the same point, I'll do all of that and have no problems with it because I get that opportunity to go on stage and and play the songs that I had a part of writing and creating and. And that's what makes me feel complete as an individual is to be able to play 
the music that I've had the opportunity to write. But, well, on the political a political aspect with the new election just going by, did you guys vote and who did you vote for and what's your what's your uh, comments on the whole election and the new presidency? We're stoked as hell that Barack Obama is our new president. Um, I, might, I had a unique story with trying to actually uh, to vote. I I was on like in Los Angeles and I live in Seattle and I needed to get a <clears throat> excuse me an absentee ballot. So I contacted Seattle and they're like, we'll send it out. So I had to go through all this stuff to have it sent to my parents and I'd meet them the day before it was supposed to be Pokemon. They never sent the damn letter. So they took away my opportunity to vote. I tried to vote in New York City, but they wouldn't let me because they said I'm not registered in the five boroughs, which isn't all completely true. I can vote for the presidential election anywhere in the United States, but they stopped me. But luckily he still won. And um, we're, we were very excited. We were in New York City for it, so that was very exciting to go to the New York Times and see all the people that were gathered together. And you know, while we were playing, we were getting text updates on stage to keep us posted. And then during El Nino's set, it was officially announced you know, that he won. So it was, it was awesome for me to be in there watching them and then hear them say that and just being with the whole crowd and seeing the reaction between every like with everyone no one was booing no one was negative everyone just feels like there's a great sense of hope and possibility for change that we're all been waiting for so so whether the opinion of you or others or whatever you would always persist for people to go out young people old people everybody alike your fans non fans whatever you you persist them to go out there and vote and just make a change because it's it's just like music alike right absolutely i mean one of the the messages that we've always tried to pers to push with this pro this band is, is to be a voice not a sheep you know it's it's great to listen and and to really li listen to what other people say but read into your stuff yourself have your own opinion and voice that opinion there's nothing wrong with it okay well can you tell us a little bit about the album and, and what you guys are on tour for now and everything just while we're wrapping up real quick absolutely uh the latest records the ascension came out had its year anniversary um this is uh another it's a co-headlining tour right now that we're out with el nino we have walls of jericho and sister sin um it's it's been a great lineup we're still kind of fresh into it and we have a lot to do but it's it's been a lot of fun just giving that little last push right before the holidays. Well, we want to thank you here at R and R TV. This is Aaron from R and R TV, where rock and roll was meant to go. Thank you. <laughs>